Sparkles Squad, this is Monica, and I have completed some jewelry using the Parisian Couture Soft Flex Kit that they sent me. This was one of their mystery design kits that, said, that they sent me, I believe, at the end of April. And unfortunately, I've only just now been able to create with these beautiful sparkles. Now, what was really fun about this is that it also happens to help me out with a collab, which is what I'm going to be using this all for, which is my friend Terry. She has a Be Creative collab. And for the month of June, the theme was travel. Furthermore, this ties in with some Paris-themed bookmarks. Now, I made these bookmarks back in 2018 when I was doing a Valentine's Day craft fair. And I have not been able to post that video yet. It's in my sparkly vault, y'all. So I thought I would at least just show them to you in this here because I created a little bookmark dangle with one of the Paris themed charms, which is the Eiffel Tower. So I thought this would be cool just to tie it all together. Now, Terry, I am really sorry. Yes, I'm late again on your Be Creative Challenge. Please forgive me. But I hope that this makes up for it because I was so excited to be able to use these beautiful items for my friends at softflex.com. So this is their mystery design kit. It's got everything you need to bead except the tools, beads, wire, crimps, findings, and more. And they do a mystery design kit reveal usually on like the last week of the month. And then it's, um, I think it's the last Wednesday every month at about three o'clock Pacific Standard Time on their Facebook. So make sure you go check out Softflex Company. I'll also put the links below in my descriptions. Ooh la la. This is called the Parisian Couture. And there is a lot of goodies in here. The design kit has the contents listed on this little piece of paper. Typically, you get a coupon. Now, what I love is that Softflex always incorporates beads from my good friends at Jesse James. I just love, 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 love everything that I see from Jesse James, even these little mini kits. Now, these are sold at Softflex, so you'll be able to check them out. I'm already in love with that right there. It's beautiful. I mean, I've never seen a bead that I didn't love, but you know what? If it sparkles, it's even better. So first, we've got the Softflex Red Coral Color .019 Medium Beading Wire. Now this is bead stringing wire, and this is a red color, even though it says coral. Now this is a, a stainless steel wire with a nylon coat on it, but you cannot this wire. So that is something else that's really cool about Softflex bead stringing wire with these colors. That's how you can showcase it in your design rather than hiding it because you are able to knot it. You're able to kind of bend it, work it into. I've made looped earrings with it or hooped type earrings. This is a 10 foot spool and they do have these in larger spools if you're interested in getting more, especially if you're like me and you like the, I love the pink rotocrosite. Oh, goodness. And the turquoise, as well as, I think it's blue topaz. Of course, you know, my, my brand colors are pink and blue. And then we have Softflex 2x2 Sterling Silver Crimp Tubes in the 2x2 size, which is the size I love to use. Now, some people say that they have issues because of the nylon coating on the wire. I don't find that on this diameter. This is a 49 strand spool of wire. So they have seven, 19 and 49 strands. 49 strands makes a more flexible design so that you can move and flow without having things kink up on you. That's another thing that's awesome about the, the knotting uh, capability here of the soft flex beading wire because you don't want things to kind of kick up on you and then start turning this weird direction. But I have no problem using my standard two by two millimeter crimp tubes. I do have, I think the magic crimping tool and the magic crimps and they're a little bit larger. You now, if you're gonna make multiple passes of your bead stringing wire or you're gonna do a multi-strand necklace, you might need a larger diameter in your crimping tube. But. And then you have silver plated ear wires with ball. And this is the ear wire here. Up close and personal, nice and bright. Just talked about the lobster claw clasp. Then you have some Tierra cast silver plated bow beads. Now I have several different types of bow beads, but I love to do these at Christmas time for gifts. And they have the hole going down the center, so this would sit nicely. On, well, usually when I do it, I have a, um, a four or a six millimeter cube, and I make packages like Christmas presents or, you know, birthday gift stacks and put the bow on top. That's really something cute for earrings, too. 
So that is Tierra Cast, which you know I love Tierra Cast. They're high quality. Then we have a Vintage Eiffel Tower charm that is over here. Look at that. It is a 3D Eiffel Tower. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I had a friend that went to France. I'm still so envious of her. She had a wonderful time. <laughs> Vintage Wii coin charm. Look how cute that is. I just purchased a uh, Vintage flush cutter. Let me show you. I have it right here. These are very nice flush cutters. Then there is three millimeter cream glass pearls and that would be these beauties right here. It's not really a bright white and it's a little bit, I don't know, you could say ivory, but they, they call them this cream. Then we have a light pink opal to hold check glass tiles. That should be this. I didn't know that was to hold. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you've got two holes there. So if you want to do some bead weaving excitement, you can do that. Really pretty. I love that it's a really opaque baby pink. Very, very cute. Then there are is the pink check glass rectangular twist. These are so fun looking. Look at that. These are pretty good size. I would say that's maybe a 12 millimeter. But look, it's got like a little dip right here. And it's a, a different shape. You don't see this shape. Red check glass turbines. I've also heard these referred to as Saturn beads. So these are beautiful. Look, look at that. It's faceted here and it has almost a coppery look to it on, on the ends there. I love that, that shape. And then, of course, I already showed it to you, but let's look again because why not? The Jesse James Beads Design Elements Parisian Couture. And I'll show it to you this way. I love the colors here. We're going to have the coral color picked up for the wire. Lovely. So thank you again, Softflex. Sarah, I really, I love your kits. It should be called the Marvelous Mystery Design Kit. That's if what you're not familiar, Miss Terry does these monthly design challenges in just being creative. It does not have to be any one set craft each month. I'd like to do jewelry making primarily, but as you can see, I also do paper crafting and I will show that to you here in a little bit more detail in just a moment. But it, whatever you make, if you want to uh, follow along in her monthly challenge, just be sure to check out her videos when she tells you what the word will be and again this month the month of june is travel and then use the be creative whatever the word is hashtag and you will be able to be seen with everyone that is doing the collab now she does these every month on the 13th and again i'm way late but thank you so much for being patient with me okay so what i did with the parisian couture design kit from my friends at softflex was create a necklace and earrings, actually two pairs of earrings and a bracelet and a bookmark uh, dangle. So I have got several things here, but I wanted to show you, I mean, this one kit made all of this and I still had a handful of beads left over. This was really a cool way to make something out of my normal element because Terry is going to be super excited when I reveal, if she's not already seen it, what? I mixed my metals. Yay! I always kind of veer away from wanting to mix metals, although every time I see Terry do it, it just looks fabulous. I don't have enough confidence in that area to um, mix my, my metals a lot, so I do tend to use all silver components or all gold components or all copper. You get my drift. Unless I am doing an all metal design with a couple of beads as accents, meaning that it is mostly a metal design. I have done that before, especially like the aged metals, because I think that is a, an industrial art form, sort of like you doing the steampunk design element, if you all are familiar with that. And that's a lot of fun, especially with scrapbooking components that I put together. So now in that regard, yes, but as far as jewelry that people wear, typically they don't really request anything where I'm mixing the metals. And that's not my natural design element. However, check out Terry whenever you go check out her collab and look at her videos because she does it all the time and it just looks amazing every time she does it. So yay, Terry! But I want you to be proud of me, girl. Be proud! This is a necklace that I have designed several different ways. 
to wear as a necklace, but also as a wrapped bracelet. But it has a few different elements going. I've got a lobster claw clasp over here beside this wee charm. And then I have a toggle clasp, which is the little flower um, toggles that I have. And that is over here on this side. I have a bit of chain. And then I've got two beaded strands here, one of which I use the beautiful colors of the Softlex wire in order to do a braided technique with these beads. Obviously the way that I've got this laying on my board now, you can see it's a double strand. This would be the inner strand, so it'd be closest to your neck. And then this would be the outer strand. You would have the flower on this side as a charm, sort of. And then you have the wee charm as a dangle over here on this side. Now, if you pick this up and you look at it in this fashion, you can see how it would just hang. I'll put this on a form here in just a minute, but it's really a cute way to have a double strand necklace. And if you don't like it this way, you can actually put the, the, uh, the other strand this way here. So, I mean, it's how, however you want to wear it. But I love the fact that you can do this or now this is where it gets a little crazy, guys. If you want to put this little strand here on the back and drop the chain below, then you've got a necklace that looks like this. And this is kind of hard to see laying down, but you have the beaded section or the braided section on the back. You still have the charm and the flower toggle here, but then you have the chain as your longest portion of the necklace. And then you still have this beaded, but now this beaded portion here becomes the one that's closest to your neck. So that is design number two. And when you want to wear this as a bracelet, like a wrap bracelet, you just release the toggle and we're gonna release the lobster claw clasp as well. So now you've got a really long necklace, which is gonna become a wrap. Then you're gonna wrap this however you can. I'm gonna try to keep this gold ball right here and then my bar of the toggle right here so that hopefully I can kind of adjust this a little bit more easily. And then just wrap around your wrist. And there is my little flower toggle right up there. We're still good. I'm going to put the bar through the toggle. Okay, so now I have this completely wrapped, but I still have this chain. So if, however you want to do the chain, you can just kind of wrap it around. But then when you come back over, you can clip it to the jump ring. And then that is a wrapped bracelet. If you'd prefer to have the weed charm over here that's dangling on the bottom up here at the top instead of the flower toggle, then you can just kind of maneuver that around. Of course, um, you'd want to rewrap your chain if it's not sitting the way that you like for it. So then to take it off, I'm just going to release my lobster claw clasp. And then I'm going to take my toggle bar and go through the bar. That releases it and then just unwrap everything here. Again, if I wanted to have the charm as my focal, then when I lay that onto my wrist, of course, then I'm gonna wrap this a little bit differently. I'm still gonna need to have that um, toggle bar down here to where I can easily get it through there and then just proceed to wrap. Now, if I want to wrap around Maybe I go to the back here, grab hold of the flower, and get the bar through there like that. Then I still have the chain, but I've got my charm over here like this. The uh, gold ball is now in a different place because of what I want to now have as the focal, which is this charm right here. And then I can just fill in the gaps with the chain, kind of wrap it around. And I've got to make sure I'm going to wrap it in such a way that I can still grab hold of this jump ring here on the bottom that's beside my flower toggle. And then I'm wearing the bracelet like that. So, I mean, this has got several different design elements here and looks that you can have. I really like how you can play around with it and how you lay your bracelet. Now, also, depending on the size of your wrist, you may have a difference in how this wraps. So, this might be four 
wraps, whereas it's three wraps on me. Whatever you like to do, or if you just do not want to wear it as a wrap bracelet, continue to wear it as a necklace, and you have several different ways that you can wear it as the necklace. So there's that. Then, of course, here is the one strand bracelet that I've got, and it is using the same toggle clasp. I just love these floral toggles. And it's got the beadwork here that's similar to everything that you see over here. Okay, now these little earrings are so cute. I made them to be sort of like a little Parisian person. <laughs> I just, I thought that they were super cute. But don't these look like little people? These got some really pretty sparkly rhinestone beads dang bead dangles here with the tiny pearls and the teardrop beads and these little bows that look like, um, you know, the, the shoulder pads from the 80s outfits. <laughs> There's the little arms and then their little head. I just love that. I think it was really cute. I had to put a little spacer bead right there as um, kind of a fill in between the bow and the teardrop bead, but I think they turned out so cute. I love it. I have a different type of earring here. They're both the same as uh, this one down here is the same as this one, but it's a big, huge pink rhinestone, um, like a plastic bead here with the teardrop and everything. And this again was sort of like a person with a little collar and a hat. <laughs> this is my little Parisian person here, but it's got a big head, sort of like mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is my bookmark. Now, the paper that I used was Parisian Ooh La La by Recollections, like a 12 by 12 paper pad. And I actually got that in 2018. Like I said, it was for a craft fair. And I made several different bookmarks. I'll show you. I got it on sale at Michael's back in 2018. It's like 70% off. Those are those uh, 12 by 12 paper pads. They're normally like $19.99. So 70% off was nice, but I made several cards and then also made these bookmarks. So these are front and back in the paper designs that I chose and they are a fashion oriented theme. There's this one that says looking good and it's got some red shoes and some cute little design elements there and sort of a watercolor look. And I put some stickers to embellish these and also some little organza ribbon. This is the one where I made a beaded dangle to add on to this particular one because it's a little Parisian lady with her poodle and some gold embossed hearts. This has a love jar on it, like a mason jar. When you turn it over, look, it's got the Eiffel Tower and a little lady, she's riding her bike. I decided I, on the other side, since this is the front of the bookmark, it's got a pink ribbon, I wanted to put just some little dangles on here. So what I did is I made a beaded dangle and this has a rose on it. It's also got this beautiful little Eiffel Tower charm. And then I just braided some of that Softlex wire over here, the different colors, the pink, the red, and the black and then continue to mimic what I did here on the necklace with that braided beadwork and put a little charm here made with love. So that, with the, along with this little pink tassel that has the gold, it's kind of pulling in that gold element. This is attached via a lobster claw clasp. And so if you don't want that on there, you don't have to have it on this. You can just take it off and you can put that onto whatever you want, like a journal, or you can put that on your purse. I don't really like to put things on my purse because I can get kind of wild by putting my purse into the drawer that I have at work and whatnot. So I would be afraid to knock these off. Okay, so here are everything all together where I have tied in the necklace that you see on the form here along with the earrings. And then I have the bracelet here along with the bookmark. So again, this is a necklace that you can wear several different ways. This is the way that you have where the chain hangs down below. And then you've got the uh, braided beaded portion around the back there. And then the gold drop here on the front closest to your neck. This is the other way that you can wear this piece. And this is where the chain is in behind your neck. Then you have a double strand necklace here. The flower toggle is over here on your left. And then the wee charm is over here on your right. Now, of course, you know, you can flip flop this however you want to, but this is just how I've got it arranged. The braided beaded portion here is the closest to your neck. And then the gold drop here is the one that is furthest away from you. And it is really cute this way. I think this is probably my favorite way here to wear it. Now, again, if you unclasp the toggle clasp and you unclasp the lobster claw clasp, 
you can wrap this around your, your wrist and depending on how large or small your wrist is, it's going to look different as to how you want to wrap it. So, I mean, there is a, I did actually design this to where it was going to be two different types or several different types of necklaces. I was going to put a second lobster claw clasp on this side here at the left. That way you could detach like the inner circle or the outer circle. But I decided that was just going to be too many clasps for my liking. Uh, again, you know, if you were going to make this kind of design, you could do that. And there's probably a ton of different ways to do this. But I thought that this was really cool. And this gives a Parisian couture vibe, I thought, because you can style it differently. There's the little earrings to the left and my little bookmark there. So what do you think, guys? What do you think about my little Parisian couture set here with soft flex goodies that I got? I am just super pleased about it. I made a ton of stuff. So again, thank you so much to my good friends at softflex.com. I will link below all of the goodies in the description. This was their Parisian Couture Mystery Design Kit. And I have finally been able to design. This is the fun part when you get these types of coordinating kits that you can just spend some time and have a lot of fun. That's what I really did, especially when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do a, a braided look with all of these different colors and metals mixed in. And I mean, I've mixed metals before, don't get me wrong, but it's just not something I naturally gravitate to. But every time I look at my fellow jewelry makers, I'm like, wow. That looked awesome. And Terry's one of them. So be sure that you go check out her channel. She also did, works with a lot of cool natural elements. She recycles guitar string. So, I mean, it's just amazing the things that she does. So her channel name is Tapping Flamingo, AKA the Bohemian Hippie. Her Be Creative collab every month on the 13th using the hashtag Be Creative and whatever the mystery word is. She usually will release a video about a week beforehand to let you know what the word is if you wanna follow along in the challenge. Let me know below in the comments what was your favorite way that you saw me demonstrate on how to wear that necklace slash wrappable bracelet if you like these kinds of mixed colors and mixed metals and things i would appreciate any kind of feedback or commentary because the engagement does help my channel here at youtube because i'm very thankful to you you are looking good <laughs> I, I like to have fun with these things, you know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already done so, pretty please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And have a sparkle day, y'all. Bye!